Hello and welcome to another West Bromwich Albion save on Football Manager 2023. My name is Dan, aka D Boy Plays, and today we've got a very, very special fixture for you to start things off with because, just completely unbelievably, we have made it to the FA Cup quarter finals and we are playing Man City. I don't think we're going to win. But let's have a little look and see how we're going to shape up and see if we can deal with the threat of Erling Haaland. So there it is, as you can see. We've got Man City. Wolves have got Watford. If by some miracle we somehow make it through this round, I would love to get drawn against Wolves in the semi-final. That would be amazing. But we've got to deal with this game first. Not running before I can walk. Let's... Oh, Wolves are one up in their game as well. Interesting. But look, we're going we're gonna to deal with this game. They're suggesting we go defensive. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Stay on feet. Uh, yeah, let's do those things. Uh, increase defensive duties. I mean, maybe these guys go... A, I, I kind of... The thing is, in this game, in a game like this... Do you set up to be super defensive, or do we go in with the idea of, well, no, we can actually play. Like, let's let's give it, you know, let's give it our all. Not entirely sure, to be honest with you. Um, does he like that? Does he prefer being an inside forward? No, he's better as a winger. I might, yeah, we'll try you out as winger on support. God, this game is going to be very, very stressful for me. But nonetheless, let's see how we get on. We've got Griffiths in goal, a back three of Phillips, Erstegaard and Oxford. Very, very familiar setup now. Uh, Darryl, uh, Darnell Furlong, sorry, not Darryl. Darnell Furlong and Eric Carl as our wing backs. In the middle, we've got John Swift and Yakushlu. Swift stepping in for Tommy Doyle because he's actually on loan from Man City. We can't play him. Uh, we've got Wallace and Grant on the wings. And then the big man, Darryl DK, is up front. Let's... Set that to defensive. Oh, let's see how we get on. I'm terrified. Terrified to see how they're set up. Oh, God. What team are they going to be playing? Okay. Okay. Interesting. So they've got Zach Steffen in goal. Should be in... I mean, he's not as good as Edison, so... Should be handleable. Handleable. Should be able to handle with him. That's a better way of saying that. Um, Walker, Stones, Laporte, Cancelo. I mean, that's a solid back four. Rodri, Gundogan, and De Bruyne are in the middle. I mean, they're going to be a nightmare for us. Silva, João Felix, who they've signed on this. And then the big man, Erling Haaland. And I pointed out many times over on Twitch that... DK performed better than Haaland, and he scored way more goals, so I guess this is the real test. Here we go. Top of the Championship versus top of the Premier League in the FA Cup quarterfinal. Oh, let's, let's try and go out there and cause an upset. Do your best, though, boys. I have faith in you. This is, uh, this is either just going to be absolute punishment now. Hang on, let's... Yeah, this is either going to be absolute punishment or we're ahead in the stats, which is very interesting. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fall for it just yet. We have got nothing as far as possession goes. Drop a little bit of encouragement on them. Bernardo with the corner for Man City plays it in low. What a ball to John Stones, and that's an awesome finish from a centre back. That's a hell of a finish. Is setting up defensively a bad idea here? I mean, yeah, no one's saving that. That's a hell of, from a centre-back. That is an insane volley. Uh, Eric Carl with a throw in for us. Plays it to Carl and Grant. Back to Carl. He goes to Oxford. Oxford bringing it forward a little bit. Launches the ball, trying to find DK. He does. DK with the shot over the bar. Unlucky. Good effort, boys. Just got to uh, got to find some rhythm here. We've got to find some rhythm in this game. We're not... We, we started well statistically, but look at that possession. 
let's let's have a little look at some things. What I might do, we're gonna I'm gonna take off pass into space. Hopefully, we can retain some possession. I'm gonna also gonna do work ball into box. That means we just might sort of pass it around a bit more. I'm also gonna play for set pieces because I feel like that's our best chance of getting some goals here. Uh, happy with all of them. Happy with all of that. Um, I haven't really been beaten on a counter, and I might change it, actually. Um, yeah, we do have to improve here. What I may do, just for this second half, I'm actually going to go to balanced uh, and just see how he goes. Carl is having a terrible game. I'm going to give him another 10, 15 minutes or so. And I'm going to chuck a bit of encouragement on them. See if we can hold on to that possession. See if we can well, up our possession as it is. Oh, God. De Bruyne on a free kick. Oh, easy save for Griffiths. Easy save. Oh, there you go. It's the end of that highlight. Any improvements to... So, Wallace and Carl are both playing really badly. So, I'm going to take off Carl for Townsend. And we're going to take off Wallace for Sarmiento. Um, because... Uh, Grady Dean Garner is injured at the moment um, which is annoying that happened but you know we can we can bring on some other players and do you know what we've got to we've got to do it I'm going to go positive I'm going to go positive because it's our usual way of playing here we go Furlong throws it to Sarmiento he goes back to Swift he plays it through the middle can't find DK and it's headed back to Stefan Stefan holds on to the ball, rolls it to Laporte, plays it in the middle to De Bruyne, to Rodrigo, Gundogan now, to Cancelo, De Bruyne, to João Felix, Haaland now, but Haaland, bad touch, and Yakushli picks it up. Oh, he managed to retrieve. Sarmiento tries to break through the defence. Ball's with Laporte now. Rodrigo plays it through the middle to Haaland. Crossbar, my word. Ostergaard's also having a shocker. Let's bring on Dara O'Shea. Dara O'Shea is a good, a good boy to bring on. Um, and I think I'm going to take off DK. DK, no offence, mate, but you've not managed to do anything here. So we're going to take you off. Plenty of time left to change match. Tavares fired up, ready to get out there and do some running. Might drop another little bit of encouragement on them. De Bruyne with a free kick. All the way through, straight into the hands of Griffiths. What does he choose to do? Plays it long. Can he find Tavares? No, he can't. Stones heads it to Rodrigo. Now Laporte. Down the line. Finds João Felix. He heads it back to De Bruyne. They're just, they're just a class above us. Oh, good clearance. Townsend now coming forward. Great ball through to Tavares. Takes it around the keeper. We equalise. In the 77th minute, we equalise. I don't want to get my hopes up. I don't want to get my hopes up. It's just... It's a good goal. Well done, us. Oh, God. This is so stressful. <laughs> this is so stressful. Oh, my Lord. Good team goal, though. Maybe it's because we're going positive. Um, do I want to make any last-minute changes? Because this is... See, I look nervous, but you scored, mate, so you couldn't be that nervous. I think the last switch I'm going to do, I'm going to take off Swift for Moat. And the game is still up for grabs. If, if Moat scores the winning goal, I regret not playing him all season. But this looks like it may go to extra time. We're into extra time against Man City, my word. This is exciting stuff. You're, you, they're doing amazingly. Yeah, you played shite, Eric. No wonder you, you got taken off. Same with you, Erstegaard and Jed. Um, yeah, you have the ability to make differences. Get out there, lads. <sighs> Extra time now. I mean, again, it would be some sort of miracle if we got through. Carlin Grant's looking exhausted. Yeah, we're going to take you off in a moment. Gil uh, Gundogan plays it through to Asensio. Didn't realise he played for City now. He manages to make it into the box. Good save from Griffiths. It goes wide and Grealish chases it down. He's tackled by Furlong. End of the highlight. Yeah, we're going to take off. Oh, word, he's injured. Okay. Uh, swap you around for Sarmiento. Yeah, we've got to bring on Taylor Gardner-Hickman. 
one of our own. He's got to go all the way up at right wing. That is... I mean, he can play there. He's not great at it, but he can play there. This is... I'm curious. Do we get another sub? We do not. That is it. That is our subs done. Try and make an impact, TGH. I believe in you, son. This is not... I mean, I looked at who's gone through. I think it was Brentford and Everton are the two other teams that have gone through. Kickoff highlight. Ball with Phillips. Plays it to Moat. He passes it to O'Shea. Tries to find Furlong. He does. TGH to Moat. Through the middle. Tavares gets onto the ball. Holds it up. Back into Sarmiento. We're 2 one up in extra time. Oh, my word. We're 2-1 up at City. Or against City. We're at... Are we at Wembley? I think we're at Wembley for this. That ain't our ground. It's huge. That's a finish and a half from Sarmiento. And again, makes me think, should I have played him a bit more this season? But the other boys were in such good form. Jan Kuto throws it forward. Oxford heads it to Sarmiento. Though. He's tackled by Asensio. In the middle to De Bruyne. He finds Alvarez outside of the boot. Hits the stanch and Phillips clears. I'm going to chuck a little bit of praise on them as well. Townsend moving forward for West Brom. Finds Sarmiento. He plays it back to Townsend. In the middle to Yakushlu. Goes for goal. Good save from Stefan. And it is a corner to West Brom. And he's standing over this. Moat standing over the corner. Yeah, he's in no rush. Don't blame him. Take your time, lad. Take your time. Gets the ball in. Easily caught by Stefan. So this is so nerve-wracking. I can't believe it. I can't. I can't believe it. We are through to the FA Cup semi-final. We've knocked out the big boys, Man City. Tavares coming on, scoring that goal. Sarmiento coming on, scoring in extra time. Set up by Tavares. All my subs were the ones that made the difference. Townsend came on and assisted Tavares. And Sarmiento also assisted by Tavares. That is, oh my lord, that is an insane performance. I'm absolutely flabbergasted by that. And Wolves are through to the next round. Oh, please. Okay, here is the FA Cup semi-final draw. We've, the, the other teams in there, we've got Wolves, Brentford and Everton. Let's just have a little look, actually, at the Premier League. So, Wolves are in 11th, Everton 13th, Brentford 18th. Wow, they're doing well. Um, I mean, I guess Brentford are the lowest team in the league, so we've got the best chance against them. Not being funny, though, I, I fancy our chances against all three of those teams. Like I said when we had the, the quarterfinal draw, the only team I didn't want was Man City, and that's the one we bloody got. But I fancied my chances against all the other ones because we're playing so well. Um... Let's let's do this draw. Oh, this is it. This is. I said it to all that. Start the draw. Dean Holdsworth here, and I'll be your host for the most for the FA Cup semi-final draw. First team called up. Brentford. Who will Brentford take on? I think I think all the semi-finals are played at Wembley, right? I don't know. Oh come on. What is this? What's with all the delay? Get into it. Brentford. Yes, we've got Wolves. We've got Wolves. Yes, lads. Amazing. We've got Wolves in the semi-final of the FA Cup. Oh, that's so good. In case you're unaware, there are bitter rivals. So that is absolutely amazing. And that's taking place on the 21st of April. Um, how long have we got until that game? Quite a bit. Shall we just jump into it? Okay, so here we go. The FA Cup semi-final against our rivals, Wolves. We're at Wembley. It's an incredibly familiar team at this point now. Doyle's back in the squad. Uh, Dean Garner's back in the team after recovering from his injury. Let's get him on that in 
uh, that inside forward, actually. He plays well as an inside forward. Tavares starts as well. He's been a good vein of form. Uh, not that DK hasn't been playing well, but Tavares has just been banging him in. Um, in other news, just to sort of quickly talk about it, in the league, things have been okay. We lost against Preston, which was a bit rubbish. Uh, a couple of wins and a draw against Portsmouth. It looks like, if we just have a quick look at the league, it looks like Brighton are going to beat us. They're four points clear now. I said there'd be at some point there'd be a little switch. Um, Tavares, though, top goal scorer at the moment with 33. Absolutely smashing it. But here we go. Let's get into it. This game against Wolves. Now, Everton beat Brentford, so... That's going to be the final. And I don't think Wolves are doing particularly well in the league, actually. Okay, no, that's not too bad. I mean, they're 11th. That's not too bad. Um, I do want... I want to play Dara because he's uh, he's one of the boys. He knows what's going on. Griffith as well. This should mean a lot to these boys. They, they've come through the youth ranks. As T TGH as well. We'll bring him on at some point. Although he is in better form than... Do you know what? We're doing it. We're going to start TGH. We're starting three of our youngsters... That could be a, uh, a terrible mistake. We've lost Swift and Sarmiento to injury as well, but all we can do is go into this and hope for a good performance. And I'm going to stick with the positive mentality. It was weird. When we were playing Man City, we we started things uh, defensive and or yeah defensively, and we went a goal down. As soon as we went to positive, we sorted it out. So maybe sticking to our usual game tactic of positivity positivity uh hopefully we can do well against them anybody there elanga sanchez was that renato sanchez fuck um yeah they've got a decent team good vein of portuguese talent but we've got some portuguese boys of our own who uh are bringing the thunder for us as well so hopefully we can do all right neves plays it in the box goalwood cleared by oxford only as far as ruben neves though he plays it to mateus cody on the ball Wolves starting strong. This will be an important game for everyone involved, I would imagine. West Brom with a free kick now. Tommy Doyle standing over it. Goes for goal. Good save from Jose Sarr. Good save. Big stretch for him. Doyle on the corner for us. Plays it into the box. Cleared only as far as Ostergaard. He gets the ball back out, but Doyle is offside, so Neves can gather. Cody now with a free kick. Plays it long. O'Shea retrieves the ball. He plays it to Erstegaard. Over to TGH at right back. Back to O'Shea. He plays it long. Can he find Dean Garner? No, he can't. Sanchez in the middle now with the ball. And Semedo running at West Brom. Just wide. Just wide. Come on, lads. Eric Carr with a throw. Gets it to Oxford. Plays it wide to O'Shea. Into the right to Taylor Garden Hitman. He finds... Dean Garner, but now Wolves on the ball again. It's end-to-end -end stuff here. Nateas tackled by Doyle. Played to Oxford. In the middle to Yakushli. Back to Erstegaard. He brings it forward a little bit. Plays it right to O'Shea. He finds Doyle. Dean Garner now. Great ball through for Tavares. Can he put us 1-0 up? Good save again from Jose Sarr. Cleared only as far as Carl Grant on the ball now. Tries to get the cross in. Deflected and caught by Sarr. End-to-end -end this. I mean, they're do we're doing better on possession, but it's making it count. It's making it count in front of goal, and these are the big moments. I'm wondering if the boys can handle the pressure of playing in a, in a semi-final in the FA Cup. Um, and against our rivals as well. Very, very competitive match for us to be involved in. Yeah, just got just to keep doing our best. I mean, it, we've got another highlight here. Griffiths plays it to Oxford. Oxford in the middle to Yakushlu. He launches it forward. Can't find Tavares. And now Mateus plays it wide to Elanga. Elanga on the left-hand side. Finds Sanchez. Sanchez plays it into the box. Carl clears it, but only as far as Semedo. Semedo in the middle to Mateus. Makes a bit of space for himself. Goes for goal. Sends it over. Oh. I'm, I'm amazed we've had an FA Cup run that's been this successful, to be honest with you. The fact that we've made it to the semi-finals is... is I mean, it says... It says everything it can about these this group of lads. They've played fantastically. Tavares is having a poor game out there. We just need to dig a little bit deeper, find something worth, you know, worth playing the game for. I think Tavares is going to come off. I'm going to chuck a bit of encouragement at them. 
I'll call that. That, uh, that stopped the highlight. Good. Uh, yeah, Tavares is coming off, and we're going to bring on the big man, Daryl DK. Something I've noticed that's a bit weird about these two is if you start them, they don't score. If you bring them on, they do. So hopefully, recent, recent track record of subbing on the striker, maybe that brings us a goal. Yakushlu, looking a bit tired, not playing particularly great, same with TGH. Yeah, I think Darnell comes on for Taylor, and I think Yakushlu, we swap him out for Moat. And again, come on boys, make it happen. Furlong looking fired up. Can we find another gear in this game and try and get a goal? Again, statistically we're pretty even. Corner for Wolves. Neto plays it in the box. Cleared by Furlong, but straight back out to Neto. He finds himself a little bit of space. Dean Garner. That's a foul on Guedes. And Wolves with a penalty in the 77th minute. Oh, they're checking VAR actually for this. It's going to be a penalty. Yeah, of course it is. <sighs> Who's stepping up for it? Is it Neves? It's Neves on the penalty. Oh, I thought Griffiths had saved that. Wolves 1-0 up. We're right at the end of the game now. Oh, is that going to be the nail in the coffin? Demand more. Will this fire them up? We need to find another gear. Dean Garner. Plays the ball in. Back stick to Oxford. Just hit the bar and over. Oh, for another free kick. Dean Garner plays it into the box. Back stick to Oxford again. Again over the bar. Exactly the same highlight. Grant is looking exhausted out there. Yeah, we'll bring on Wallace. And <clears throat> what else do you do? Erstegaard for Phillips. Just to bolster the defence. I mean, do you... I mean, we could go tactically. I've tried this in a couple of games. Not always worked, but could give it a go. Uh, Dean Garner should be fine playing in behind them. I know he's not got the rating for it, but he should be fine. And I'm going to have you as a pressing forward. Let me yeah, play through the middle. Play for set pieces. Be more expressive. More direct. Work ball into box. Let's see... If we can pull anything back from this, I can't see it happening, but stranger things have happened. We're going to go very attacking as well for the last little bit. Griffiths plays it to Oxford, plays it wide to Carl. Carl launches it forward. Can he find Wallace? No, he can't. Dean Garner, that's the end of the highlight. Really? That's the end of the highlight? You can't give me that. Oh, no. Oh, we got knocked out in the semi-final to Wolves. 1-0. What a shame. What an absolute shame. They played so well. Oh, they played so well all year doing the FA Cup. That's a real, that's a real disappointment. Proud in their efforts. Proud in their efforts. Yeah, that was unlucky. Losing to a penalty as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, a little disappointed in that. But again, making it all the way to the semi-finals. Um. Bit of a shame. Saar had a fantastic, fantastic match, though. Um, that's where we're going to leave things, though. And I think, I mean, realistically, I mean, we look at the schedule. We've got three games left in the league. We've already secured promotion. If anything changes last minute, if it looks like we're going to swap things round, then we'll come back for that. But unless we... Uh, Unless we look like we're going to get first, I think that's where we're going to we're going to end things. What we'll probably do is we'll come back for those last three games. We'll do another episode where we can uh, we get the last three games of the season and see if we can somehow not uh, not Brighton off their perch. Um, but yeah, that's where we're going to do it. Unlucky for the boys, not quite making it through to the FA Cup final, but they put a fantastic account in for themselves. They can be proud of themselves for that performance, making it all the way to Wembley. Yeah, what a shame! What an absolute shame. Anyway. That's where we're going to leave things. My name has been Dan, aka D Boy Plays. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, please give us a subscribe and like down below because that helps me grow. And if you want to see more of my content, you can head over, over to twitch.tv and find me there. And I'm doing my Rochdale save at the moment. Yeah, it's going all right. <laughs> right, I'll see you soon. Cheers, guys.